Okay, good evening, folks. Thanks for joining us. This should be short and sweet. I know there's some big football playoff games on today, but wanted to make sure everybody was on the same page for tomorrow. If anybody had any clarifying questions or concerns, um, right immediately following the quick four slide presentation, we will open it up for questions and answers and um, send everybody on their way fully informed for the second football game. So um, we'll share our screen. Mr. Barrett, it's, it's shared. Can you okay. see Okay, I didn't know if you were, I, I see the whole screen. I didn't know if you were gonna make a full screen. But, yep, um, Okay, thank you. Okay, next slide. So tomorrow we are going to resume in-person instruction. We are strongly encouraging all students to come back into the buildings uh, for in-person instruction. Uh, we will continue to follow our health and safety plan with our desks, shields, and our masks. Um, and everything that anybody needs to know or understand for a quick refresher is on our website, Hanoverary.org under the health and safety plan, uh, simply uh, masks all the time with the exception of lunch. And then we shift to the desk shields. Okay. Next, um, this is how we made our determination. Um, we had looked at our last week's COVID numbers, um, drastically fell off a cliff, which is very, very um, good news. I was about to say positive, but we don't use that word anymore during COVID era. But um, so at the high school, we had four positive cases over the past week, two at Linwood, two at Memorial, three at Lee Park, and three at Hanover Green. Um, this um, was in addition to um, us watching the high school, just at the high school alone, students, over 100 students that were in passing academic status, once we shifted on January the 3rd, uh, we, slaw, we saw a slow decrease in academic performance as the um the level of urgency or the the ability to have an in-person or a resource with your teacher immediately in front of you um we are seeing a rapid decline in academic performance primarily at the high school um then in addition to that you see the last bullet point that we added there um our attendance rates were almost in half we had 48 percent attendance rate for um, students in the Hanover Area School District throughout the month of January. Uh, this is not optimal for any anybody in our business. We want teachers in the classroom. We want teachers in our space receiving uh, the lessons and the standards and objectives of the day. And that is not happening in this status. So um, we have heightened our level of urgency of getting these students back into our classroom tomorrow. And um, we strongly encourage to make sure that everybody is on that bus driven or walking to school bright and early tomorrow morning. However, um, there's gonna be one degree in the morning. So I will be calling a delay immediately following this presentation. Um, next slide, Mrs. Kitchen, I believe that was wrapping it up. That was it, Mrs. Kitchen, correct? Yes, Mr. Barrett, that's the last slide. Okay, so um, to wrap this up, I want to see if there's any folks out there that need any clarification, any questions and answers um, to uh, get us on the road to recovery tomorrow. Uh, please press the raise your hand icon and I'll take as much time as needed. Um, to get the questions answered. Jessica? Hello, Mr. Barrett. Hi, oh, Jessica, how are you? All right, how are you? Good. Um, I have a question in regards to the um, quarantining. Mm -hmm. Okay. I had 
one child that was tested positive last week. So she's allowed to go back in five days, correct? She, the positive student can come back after five. Household contact has to wait five and then quarantine five. So like my other five children, they have to quarantine for 10 days? Correct. Whoa. So it's five, five for emergence and then five for quarantine. That makes sense. Yeah. So what we'll do is so, you just send, you send an email to um, the, the teachers or you want to send one to me and let me know what grades your child are in. I'll get it to the principals. And then we just flip the, on, the online switch to the Google Classroom. See, so, somehow I missed, I mean, on my phone, it's, it's only 606, but somehow I missed like a whole bunch of stuff. I don't know how. But um, is the hybrid portion still working or is we going back to fully in person and that's it? We're going back to fully in person with the exception of teachers posting, only posting, zero live instruction now, only posting for students in quarantine. Okay, so my... So your kids then, would fall under that category. Okay, so does pre-K, because that's my daughter who tested positive. Okay, so... Pre-K, does, does that count like as far as her missing days or no. anything like that? No, it's not. Okay, it's not so I can actually... Her. I can actually keep her home then and Correct. just, okay. I would good. reach out to the teacher and they, they may have, I know that they were doing take home. I think Mrs. Farrell's on here. Um, I think they were doing take home packets at one point. I'm mm -hmm. not quite certain if that could be arranged with which teacher is your daughter's. But yeah, um, perhaps we have something Ms. Moore and I'm, I'm pretty, we're pretty good as far as communication and stuff. I just didn't know if it would go against her because I've also gotten um, a paper for every child of mine on missing days and i don't know because we've been in quarantine for so long i don't know when we're under quarantine and when we're not anymore according to these letters i can't keep track of the days, so i don't know what to do as far as getting these letters of my kids missing days either okay so what we'll do is um put my email in the chat okay just okay. send me an email and then we'll have uh the folks who are handling uh those letters reach out to you for clarification okay okay all right. I okay. think that was all that I had then. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Michelle Okonski. Hi, Mr. Barrett. How are you? Hi, Ms. Okonski. How are you? Okay. Can we get some clarification on the COVID testing? Is the district accepting the results of home tests? Negative. For the Okay, Negative. so if like now the lady that just spoke previously, she has five kids under quarantine. In mm -hmm. order for them to come back to the district, she has to get those kids a negative test from a doctor or a medical facility. That's correct. So that you, okay, because there seemed to be a lot of confusion on if um, parents can just use a home test and be on their honor system to send the kids back into the district. Negative, so um, th that's, uh, I hope I clarified that. Yes, thank you. Jessica Passarella. And Mr. Barrett, it's me again. <laughs> Hi. The one with the, the six kids in quarantine. Yep, um, I know. So just to clarify then, my other five that are in quarantine, I have to have a negative test for them on when like well you, you have, have to, to wait the five days day or the five you have to days. wait the five days from the positive test of of i believe the pre-k student i'm sorry to talk about your personal business front no it's, it's we, fine we, we can do this <laughs> you know what uh, okay but um from the from the onset of the positive test it's five days from then that you could get the test okay and then the does others. my daughter who tested positive does she need a test negative test to come back if i were negative. To so no so five days after her positive test is it her i'm sorry if i'm disrespecting yep. you. it's her um, it's okay five five days from the test um naturally always with the mask on okay so but my other five they have to have a negative test 
at the end you of the 10 days. You have to wait days, five days from the positive test of the, of the household uh, positive case. Okay. And then wait five days and then um, take a test of all the others. Gotcha. I'll get it under control. Okay. Sounds good. All right. Thanks. Edward Shamosti. Hello, sir. Uh, I have a question. Uh, you said uh, tomorrow you're putting out a delay. My child goes to the CTC in the morning. Mm -hmm. um, is it going to be like the same, like uh, three hours for CTC and two hours for uh, the high school? I, I'm going to have them. Uh, the, they'll probably announce that. But one more two hours delays, that's usually what happens. So um, okay. let, let me get that information. When the one call comes out, it will be in there. I have to discuss right. that with the high school administration. Yeah, so it's because it's confusing if you have a two hour delay, my daughter still will be in uh, considered CTC and uh, we won't know what time to catch the bus. And Understood. Well, immediately following this, there'll be a the one call that goes out to all the families. So I will make sure that that's included in with that, okay? All right, sounds good, thank you. Thank you. Are there any other questions for Mr. Barrett? There are no other questions, Mr. Barrett. Okay, I'd like to thank everybody for coming on. I hope we're fully informed and go enjoy game number two.